Uh, my project is called Determining Psychopathy. So I wanted to start off with something like a fun fact. So what did Ted Bundy feel after he murdered and mutilated over 30 women? The simple answer is nothing. Ted Bundy was actually described as a perfect psychopath by multiple psychiatrists and psychologists. He was actually a world like known serial killer. So throughout this presentation, psychopathy will be defined, the traits of a psychopath will be examined, and last but not least, what you can do about it will be addressed. I think this information allows us to better understand those who are classified as psychopaths as well as allows us to observe those around us more efficiently. So what exactly is a psychopath? According to the definition provided by dictionary.com, a psychopath can be defined as a person with a psychotic personality, which manifests as amoral antisocial behavior, lack of ability to love or establish meaningful personal relationships, extreme egocentricity, failure to learn from experience, and etc. In regards to the definition that they provided, I thought it was also important to understand that amoral means to lack a moral sense. So psychopaths don't necessarily understand what's morally right and what's morally wrong which leads them to make, obviously, choices that someone who isn't a psychopath wouldn't make. Um, I also wanted to add that you can be both born a psychopath and made into one, according to a psychologist, Cassandra Lamb. This differs from a sociopath in that a sociopath is mainly created through their environment. So traits of a psychopath. This is actually all facts from the FBI. I got them directly from their website. So psychopaths are typically very charming and they're manipulative. They use their manipulativeness to get close to you and to get you to feel what they want you to feel. So they want you to imagine them how you want to imagine them in other words. They also lack emotions, lie about situations to perceive themselves as trustworthy, usually are involved with deviant sexual desires and are very inconsistent in displaying emotions, which means like, a psychopath could one day talk about feeling bad for those who are homeless, and then the next day they'll say that they're worthless and they can't believe they allow themselves to get to that point. I also added a chart because there's obviously way more traits, but if I stay here and I name them all, this presentation would probably be like an hour. So is there a cure for psychosis? Unfortunately, researchers have not found a cure for psychosis, but there are ways to combat it. Like there's antipsychotic medication, mood stabilizers, substance abuse counseling, family therapy, and support from a group or therapist. I learned this all from psychguides.com, which is another website that is ran by multiple psychiatrists and psychologists, and this information is directly from Morgan Adams. So what can you do? If you think you're dealing with a psychopath, according to a website, psychopathvictims.com, you should try to stay away, obviously. I think that's common sense. You shouldn't want to engage with someone who isn't necessarily looking out for the best in you or them. Keep it on the down low and get back up, which means don't go around telling anyone thinking like, oh, this man's a psychopath because you couldn't be 100% sure. Protect yourself, be unshakable, a rock, preserve your breath. Be prepared for the worst and document everything and forgive yourself. Um, be unshakable, a rock means to stay firm on what you believe in. Don't doubt yourself because you don't want to doubt yourself and then end up in a bad situation. Forgive yourself because if you really can't prevent it, there's nothing to do to prevent someone being psychotic, especially if they are born like that. So strangely enough, psychopaths account for 1% of the world population, according to Wynne Perry, an author of Lives on Live Science. This is actually a picture of Ted Bunny himself. And I actually wanted to emphasize emphasize him on my last slide as a psychopath because Ted Bundy had the perfect life. He admitted that he did great in school. He had great relationships with his family. They loved him. He went to church regularly and still he became to be known as a, a pretty gruesome serial killer. And I also was pretty interesting in uh, his last interview before he was killed, he uh, got the death penalty. He says, we are your sons, we are your husbands, we are everywhere and there will be more of your children dead tomorrow. So I do think the information like to understand how to find a psychopath and deal with one is very useful. And I hope that the information will allow us to be more careful and observant in who we are dealing with.